Welcome back. A black entrepreneur in Charleston is honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with his efforts within his community. Our 13 News reporter Mariah Davis shows us how in tonight's Good News with 13 report. Just like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I've always had um, a dream. And the dream of C. Anthony Parker was owning a business from a young age. That's now a reality. He owns two car detailing shops, one in Elk City and one in downtown Charleston. At the age of uh, 17, I started a lawn care service. And uh, from there, um, I decided I wanted to go into the car business because I purchased a van from the local auto auction, which gave me the idea of owning and operating uh, and buying and selling cars. Parker often reflects on the odds that were stacked against him, but still found the strength to overcome. Fell in first grade, considered mentally educationally challenged, didn't graduate high school, never went to college. Um, statistically, I should have been a failure, but I've always wanted to be successful. One of Parker's employees, Jay Canada, considers Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. as an inspiration. Most of my life, I mean, ever since I learned about black history, that was one of the ones I definitely looked up to. Parker does too. I'm able to be a, a black um, African-American business owner here in Charleston, West Virginia because of him and the civil rights and the things that he's done uh, throughout the years and ongoing because his legacy is still living. And the legacy will continue to live on through people like Parker who uphold the dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. In Charleston, Mariah Davis, 13 News, working for you. Parker says he wants to encourage more young African Americans to start businesses because he knows it's possible. If you have good news, share it with us. Send your stories to news at wowktv.com. We'd love to hear your positive story ideas, or maybe you have some fun pictures, and who knows, you might see it right here on 13 News at 6.